Take 10 and 3 to 1. What's up guys, it's your boy Boss Mac, back to gaming.com. A lot of you guys may already be rocking M.2 SSDs, and that's great. But even in this day and age, there's still a good argument about SATA SSDs. Now, many would expect SATA SSDs to drop in prices, but there still remains a market that's still reliant in the best performing SATA drives around. There's dense network storage, specialized devices like a, like a gaming console, the PS4, or a PS5, surprisingly, by a USB enclosure. And then there's your PC and laptop, which may be limited on what kind of drives it can use. In this video, I'll briefly talk about the Samsung, uh, Samsung's new SATA SSD, the Samsung 870 EVO. Now, the Samsung 870 EVO succeeds the very popular 860 EVO SATA drive, and while Samsung's NVMe offerings are taking the spotlight nowadays, this drive has a lot of Samsung SSD DNA that it shares with its high-performance cousins. Here we have the Samsung 870 EVO. Our sample is the 1TB model. The 870 EVO lineup consists of 250GB uh, all the way up to 4TB in size. So here we have a look at the box. So the, the front is a nice glamour shot of the 870 EVO with the back. Just a link in multiple languages for Samsung's SSD page. We do have a note for, five year, for a 5-year warranty for this drive and that's a good thing to note. It's, this drive is actually made to endure a lot of write cycles. This 1TB model is rated for up to 600TB of uh, total bytes written. And the entire range is going from 150TB all the way to 2400TB of total bytes written. The physical drive itself, let's open this up and I'm going to wing it uh, past this point. Inside the box, we have some documentation right here and pretty much just that. So here we have the drive itself. The physical drive is 7mm thick in a standard 2.5 inch form factor. There's really not a lot to say about the drive about its physical form, uh, but the specs are indeed where it's at. Samsung includes TurboWrite technology on these drives, that means there is an LL SLC cat write cache for improved writing performance. The Samsung 870 Evo is rated for 560 megabytes reads and 530 megabytes write speed, which is pretty much peak SATA nowadays. Samsung does have a migration software as well as their Samsung Magician SSD toolbox software to manage this drive. Aside from that, we'll find out more in my full review coming up in the next few days. So as I mentioned in the, the beginning, why would someone still pick up a SATA SSD? Ultimately, it's all about compatibility. Many systems are still limited to SATA, like older laptops that have 2.5 inch slot. Those who may have had prolonged usage of their systems and want a bit of a boost to their system, then a SATA drive may, may uh, be of help if their system memory is already maxed out. With the Samsung 870 EVO maxing out at 4TB, those who want an ultra-fast replacement for their hard drives to complement their M.2 SSDs still look for, S for SATA SSDs for that secondary uh, storage purposes. Speaking of storage, 10 gigabyte Ethernet or higher NAS can take advantage of SATA RAID zeros. Lastly, last-gen consoles like the PS4 can get increased performance from an SSD upgrade. So, whichever your case may be, if you want peak performance, Samsung's always an easy recommendation. Stay tuned for my full review of this drive, but I'll be going into detail in just how good of a value this Samsung 870 EVO is. This has been your boy Boss Mac, back to gaming.com. If you want to see more, get to like the video, comment the video, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next time. And follow me on social media. It is back to gaming everywhere. Peace.